Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Rage and we are back today with another Cosmic Crucible week wrap up here. Um, now that we've secured all the battles, uh, it actually resulted in two wins, one loss this week guys. So big, big change. Obviously with now me being in gold three, uh, the strategy is quite a bit different. I had a rude awakening in my first match and I did make some changes and that has resulted in two subsequent wins afterwards. So now we're on our track, still on our way um, towards platinum one. But Having said that, guys, I do want to talk about my defense changes real quickly and then talk about the key battles. But um, before, when I was prioritizing my defense to win the battles, now it's going to be a mix, right? The opponents I'm up against are easily 10 to 20 TCP million higher than myself. So now I need to balance some more efficiencies in my attacks. Uh, so I've kind of um, leveled that out a little bit better and also improved my offense at the same time. So let me show you my new defense here, guys. Room 1. Is a mixture of this uh, unlimited x-men synergy there honestly it's not that great of a team but it's mainly just more so so that way i have more options on offense and they're still not weak characters so that way someone going in is still gonna have to throw a team at it um, to clear especially to go for efficiency right we've changed up our room too guys because this one worked really well in the past here i think i had scroll here before but um, too many teams are getting past it now to the point where I need to use scroll on offense Give me that little bit of um, pivot space in terms of being able to blow past my enemies So I've changed this by adding Dormammu giving them a bit of a revive But overall having Black Knight synergy all the time and Logan still makes it very strong um, Pegasus I've left it, Darkhold I've left it, Death Seed as is And I've actually swapped around my Spire Society to actually room 6 here I think previously they were slotted in room 4 and adding Quicksilver at least gets that turn one. Um, my Quicksilver isn't as built as I would like, but honestly, the key thing for him is using his ultimate first thing in that room six and spreading those buffs. And then also in my Spire Society, obviously uh, doing some work there. So this defense has gotten me two wins so far, but it's also thanks to my offense, guys. Let me quickly just show you now um, kind of the quick recaps of the battles. Uh, most of the, I think I was able to actually clear all the rooms. It was more so, it came down to, um, efficiencies right what was able to secure me the win through the efficiency battles in terms of clearing certain um, certain enemy teams and as well my mistakes that I've learned along the way so let me show you guys a couple of big ones actually that kind of uh, let's talk about the the ones that did work and didn't work so previously I had gamma on defense um to be honest I don't know about my room one still I might go back to gamma but because it, they still wasted a um, a good new warriors team and although they got some efficiencies out of there it was still a good new warriors team that my opponents can use but yeah this is the team right here if you use cabal with apocalypse and kang um very very good characters but it can get past my mixture here so in that case i was thinking okay let's just take off scroll then because at that point if this team can clear i might as well use scroll on defense in another room or use them on offense which i've switched them to actually to offense now defensively pegasus can take down pegasus We've got hive mind taking down spiral society uh, Superior 6 taking down Death Sea quite easily with Scroll. And surprisingly, people still throw um, Overkill in this room. I, I'm surprised because, again, Death Sea is not that hard of a team to counter. And then finally, um, we have Tangle Web here with Omega Red, Anova, and as well as uh, Doctor Doom taking down my Dark Hole in room 6. So that, just for counters, if you guys are interested. Now, let me show you kind of where I messed up because my opponents was able to clear all my rooms in one shot. So now, going back to it, I just made some really silly mistakes you know for example i should have brought in my sd um with nova in the last room here but instead i, I was thinking high mind can fish them off i i honestly i probably could have won this first match if not for that reason right but yeah there's that mistake there and then um what was the other room that i messed up on uh this one i was thinking my superior six could finish off um secret defenders here with noir and it was very very close as you guys can see uh the deciding factor was honestly the fact that i was punching out like crazy so i think the first match i probably could have won but um this was a good kind of uh, wake up call because i need to switch around my defenses anyways and that resulted in two subsequent wins so that that's what decided guys now let me show you what happened in my second round that decided and then finally my third round so my second round was right here and this one was very, very smooth. But I still made some silly, silly mistakes. Now, the good news, too, and let me show you the results, guys. Yeah, well, Condens can take down this team. So I'm, that's why I'm kind of hesitant on keeping this on defense on room one. But again, I like the flexibility that I'm getting for offense, though. Now, this is cool. Um, I'm seeing my opponent struggle with the Dormammu edition because folks are needing to bring in Superior 6 and then also, you know, having to bring in Gamma Apocalypse. So this is what I like. This is what's going to win me uh, the round because of these changes, especially on defense with Dormammu. Um, Hive Mind taking down Pegasus. And then we have their Dark Hole challenging my Dark Hole. 
and secret defender easily taking care of archangel again someone using super scroll it just seems uh, like overkill to me and then this one right here got the job done so they had to use a burner for my my first defense here for the quicksilver mixture and then finally using cabal to clean that up now let me show you where i messed up i, I thought for sure i was gonna lose this by a slim margin but thankfully my opponent needed the multiple attack so Cabal easily cleaned up this room one here for uh, this mixture of extreme and unlimited. Then we had our extreme with Nova taking care of uh, nowhere. You don't really see that often, to be honest. We had our new warriors plus apocalypse taking down mercs for money. So that's a nice addition there. Uh, Secret defenders plus vulture taking down Spire Society. Easy, easy cleanup. Um, so this is what I mean by I messed up. I actually brought in my, uh, my Venom here in the first round. And uh, yeah, I should have actually brought in Red Goblin. So it was just a misclick on my part. But yeah, this this right here, I was scared this was going to cost me the round because obviously losing at 400 points for the attempt. So messed up there. Um, make sure you guys, if you're using this synergy, make sure, um, uh, you know, Red Hulk in, in, in place of Venom is actually really, really good for room four. Uh, do not bring in Venom. He costed me this round here, as you can see with the, with the cancellation. And then... Room five, we had Tangle Web plus uh, Lizard and as well as a uh, Noir taking care of business for Archangel. Like I said, this is a pretty easy team encounter. And then lastly, um, Cabal plus Kang and um, and as well as Skrull easily cleaning up the extremes. That's why I like Skrull on offense now because he can just be a flex anywhere and he's going to put me over the top. So finally, guys, let me show you now the last and final round of what won me um, this round here. And again, you can see against my opponent, it was down to an efficiency battle. Um, actually, even with this one, I think I did have a misstep, but let me show you what happened. So uh, again, let's talk about the defenses, right? Uh, Pegasus taking down that room one again. I don't know how I feel about this, but um, it is what it is. I, I just need some sort of burner team, I feel. Uh, then we have room two here. Once again, um, it's this defense that's winning me the round, right? Uh, my opponent brought in Gamma as a burner. And then having to bring in both Black Knight and Scroll on offense is what needed to take down this room. So this did the job. This won me the round ultimately. Um, then we have Cabal easily cleaning up my, my Pegasus there. Dark Hold matching Dark Hold. So maybe I got to switch things up there. But um, I don't know if I want to put any more investment in the Dark Hold. That's the thing. Most folks are usually punching down on them. Uh, and then we have new warriors here um, easily taking down my Dev Seed. That's the right way to do it just because of how easy they've, they're counterable. And then finally... Uh, we have Mercs for Money taking down my Extreme. Oh, excuse me, uh, my uh, my Spire Society with Quicksilver. So that, that's a good counter right there for Room 6. E even though their Logan's actually not even built, this is a good counter. But then he lost out on the defensive capabilities. So he was priding more on the uh, the defensive the, the offensive aspect as opposed to defense. Now let me show you what I did to win this match here. So we brought in Tangle Web with uh, Red Hulk and Val, easily cleaning up their uh, Spire Society in Room 1. Uh, we brought in our Cabal plus Apocalypse and as well as uh, Lizard to clean up uh, Secret Defenders. This was a huge, huge counter. I loved it. Um, and, you know, especially with like, Secret Defenders on defense. That's a great team to actually counter that. We have Skrull plus Extreme matching Skrull, uh, matching the Extreme X-Men team. Easy cleaning up. Um, overkill, but I just didn't feel like I need the offense anywhere else. They had a really weak Infinity Watch on defense, so my Superior 6 just wiped the floor with them. Um, Secret Defenders countering Superior 6, so it was a nice punch down, obviously, here with Nova. Uh, but yeah, it was good. This one was scary because um, the villains getting that revive in Room 5, right? And then finally, uh, my Hive Mind with Kang, Kang um, easily cleaning up the Room 6. So as you can see, my opponent prided on more of their offensive aspect, and they took a hit on the defense, hence that, that we got the win. And thankfully, our Room 2 is the reason, right? Once again. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Two wins again. We're getting closer and closer, inching our way up the plat, but... Um, yeah, these changes, I feel like my room one's got to change, guys. Let me know what your, your comments are or what your thoughts are. But um, I'm not going to lie, though. I do like this flexibility in the sense that now, let me show you my offensive capabilities. I actually have quite a few teams on, on offense still that I can utilize, right? So we have this mixture here, Apocalypse, Skrull, Secret Defenders, Cabal, Gamma, Tangle Web, Extreme, Hive Mind, Superior. And my Masters of Evil isn't where I'd like to be because obviously Kang's the only one built up. But yeah, that's that's what's gotten me to goal three, guys. And now I'm working my way up to plat. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, I'll try to do this as much as I can because I know you guys appreciate just seeing some different uh, kind of content as well as the attacks and, and, and what I'm using for defenses. But yeah, this is in goal three, guys. Thank you for your time as always. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.